Hey there, YouTube land, what's up? It's been a while since I've, uh... Let me get my list out here for a second. Uh, since I've talked in a video, since I've, uh, uploaded anything that's, uh, helpful or interesting, since I've been relevant, since I've done anything like this at all, or since I've even been active in general, and that's because, uh, I think the past two months, I think, I haven't really uploaded that much. Uh, especially as of recently, I've been uh, doing a lot of work reorganizing my room and just getting everything straightened up because I'm finally moving out of the Dark Ages and into the era of PC gaming. Uh, because I came across uh, quite a bit of money so I can actually get a nice computer, a gaming computer, built for me so I can run all kinds of games, especially ones that are on consoles that I can't record for, that I can't even play on HD TVs anymore. I can run mods on them, which would be really fun, but also it would help for recording and streaming purposes, because right now all I can use is the PlayStation 4's built-in recording, and also its crappy headset. So I'm going to have a better microphone, and also a face camera, so I can finally start recording uh, or streaming, because I do all my editing myself, which is crappy, I know, but it's also... It's hard work, even the little bit that I do, so I might just be doing streams. Uh, but you'll be able to see, for instance, right now I'm recording with an eye patch that you can't, you wouldn't be able to see normally, so you might catch me doing that on stream. Not for the same reason as Corpse Husband, God bless his voice. It's just because I suffer chronic cluster headaches. It's really awkward right now trying to record. Uh, but with all that combined, I figured that that would just make things a lot better than what I have set up right now. I can actually do proper streams. Because uh, like I said in a community post before, I wanted to start doing things that were more interactive. I wanted to start streaming uh, possibly multiplayer games and having viewers join in. Just to either have fun so they can be part of the stream, or if they're smaller channels, they could use that to sort of get themselves out there. And as for this video itself, uh, Minecraft Dungeons, you've probably heard about it, a lot of you might play it. It's really fun, it's really addicting, I've spent more time on this than I'm willing to admit, but you're going to see in a minute just how much time I've spent on it. Uh, but about community streams and like interactive events, I've been thinking about doing regular streams for this game, uh, like a viewer play and trade stream where people watching could just join in and become part of the stream, especially because crossplays come out now, so you can play with anyone from any console. Except I have to figure out how to record uh, voices from like Discord or something and play it with PS4 if people are playing on another console because they didn't have voice chat figured out for it. Uh, but also, you know, money can't really buy friends, stuff can't really buy friends, but in game Minecraft stuff, that can maybe buy friends. No. Um, but I. I've spent a lot of time on this game. I've collected base. I, I've collected like one of at least one of everything with good and chance, pretty much. And I figured, you know, I can back up my save. I have no reason not to trade stuff away. I just like being nice. So what I'm planning on doing is uh, streaming this, playing multiplayer. Um, I'll explain uh, how I'm gonna do that uh, in a second. But um, also every now and then giving stuff away from my inventory to people that are playing with me. And uh, I have saved on a separate recording my entire inventory for you to look at because there's no way that I was going to be able to open that up and show you here because Minecraft Dungeons keeps rearranging my inventory after I've organized it perfectly to ruin my OCD. Um, but here, let me show you what I have in my inventory. Feel free to pause and look at the enchants because I... Uh, I went through, uh, regrading them in the blacksmith, let's say.
Okay, so yeah, you might notice that everything is uh, pretty much power 114 aside from a few things. That's because, um, you may have seen from my previous, I think all my Minecraft uh, dungeons videos aside from the first one, that I'm not a huge fan of Apocalypse Plus. I think it's really unbalanced and just not really well implemented. Most things in the game just can't handle it. That soul build that I did could barely handle it just because the mobs are so fast and have so much health and do so much damage and have so much stun and now pushback resistance for whatever reason that slower builds or ones that don't have a lot of DPS just can't handle it. So things like scythes, they can't really do it. And soul builds, they're meant to gather souls to use the artifacts, and even those are just crap. So you're basically stuck focusing on weapons that have really high DPS and good pushback, or builds that are about speed, or ones that are about cheesing the enemy in some way, or just complete invulnerability. And I don't think that's really fun. So uh, I figured that it would be a lot better just to keep like my one or two builds uh, that can run Apocalypse plus 20 uh, reliably at power 169 so I can use that just to use Apocalypse plus 20 for farming purposes because it's all it does is give you better uh, chances to get rares and uniques problem is that most of those rares and uniques can't play on Apocalypse plus 20 because they're not balanced enough the game was never balanced to begin with but it went from things being like okay and things being really good to things either being usable or unusable or at least not fun to use to beat it with because that soul run was not fun <laughs> so i figured it doesn't make sense to keep all of that stuff at apocalypse plus 20 levels so i went and i downgraded everything to just above apocalypse 7 level the, that cutoff is 113 for rares and uniques and 112 for uh, commons so everything i have you see is um 113 or 114 and uh i'll show you how to do that uh, real quick, because uh, this stream, I I could run Apocalypse plus 20 with uh, my Fighter's Bindings build. Uh, you saw my my stuff that's 169, but it's it gets kind of stale doing that over and over. I'd rather run Apocalypse 7 where you can actually use things and have fun. So if you have any gear of yours that you like using, but it doesn't run on Apocalypse plus 20 just because it's not well programmed and balanced, I'll show you really quickly how to very easily... Uh, downgrade your stuff to uh, power 114 because all of my stuff used to be nearly 169 until I decided to just go in the complete opposite direction and went right back down. It's so simple too. Uh, and I, I have it in a separate recording too. I'm just going to quick show you. I have three things left that aren't power 114. So let's quick pop those in there. Well, okay, these, these are 169, but I want to keep those there because I kind of like being able to just uh, have two equipped and keep my uh, attack speed infinitely uh, doubled, or however much it increases it by. Uh, the ones that I have left are the wands. So I got this. And what you basically do is take anything that's above power 114 and you stick it in the blacksmith. Hopefully I didn't pass any of it. I know I have a few wands here. Yep. And then let me find the one last one. Yeah, here we go. So you stick all of these in your blacksmith. Then what you want to do is make sure you drop your power to 102 or less. Don't try 103. That doesn't work. I've tried. Your gear will come out to 117 power from the blacksmith. And then all you do is load up literally any stage on Apocalypse plus one or higher. And there you go. Fenton, he was just 14 when his parents built a very strange machine. It was designed to view a world unseen. He's gonna catch them all because he's Danny Fenton. When it didn't quite work, his folks, they just quit. But then Danny took a look inside of it. There was a great big flash of things to change. His molecules got all rearranged. When he first woke up, he realized he had snow white hair and glowing green eyes. He could walk through walls, disappear, and fly. He was much more unique than the other guy. And it was then that he knew what he had to do. He had to stop by the ghosts that were coming through. He's here to fight for me and and after three runs of pretending that you're Danny Fenton, or a homicidal maniac, you choose, come back to the promised land, and voila, 
Everything's power 114 and ready for you to enjoy again on Apocalypse 7 so that you can just completely ignore the unbalanced mess that's Apocalypse Plus. Especially after uh, devs heard uh, feedback, you know, detailed feedback saying that the game uh, on Apocalypse Plus was unbalanced and listing all the problems why it was and how it was very centralizing and only a few builds worked and they thought, hmm, okay, I hear you, I hear you. So you're saying it's not hard enough so we have to nerf the few viable builds that are left instead of buffing the ones that were completely bad to bring them up to the viable levels. That way we can funnel you guys into even less and less builds that are viable so that we can eventually nerf that and make it completely unplayable. But, uh, yeah, the reason why I do this is, uh, because, yeah, I could go back to Apocalypse 7 with my really broken Power 169 gear, but what's the fun in, you know, one-shotting everything and having no challenge? Because the problem with Apocalypse Plus was, on plus 20, uh, you kind of felt like a glass cannon, and you died in, like, two, three hits, and everything else was basically, like, a secret super, f uh, boss from Final Fantasy or something with the amount of health that they had. And if you went down to a, ma uh, a level that was more manageable, then the enemies were glass can- or like, were like paper mache, and you were the super boss that took like no damage. There was almost- it was exponential, there was no in between. It didn't feel- it just didn't feel balanced and didn't feel fun, so... Uh, if you feel the same way, now you have an easy way to go back to playing uh, Apocalypse 7 with the gear that you were able to grind thanks to the, uh extra reroll for rares and uniques on Apocalypse Plus. Just use Apocalypse Plus uh, to farm all that stuff, and then you can downgrade it to have fun and actually get to use it on Apocalypse 7, which is where I'm going to be chilling. So if you want to join in with me whenever I'm streaming, I don't have any schedules, but that's hopefully going to be a regular thing that I'm going to do, especially if I figure out how to record uh, non-PS4 audio so that other people that are playing with me that aren't on PS4 that are using crossplay uh, get to be a part of the stream as well, then feel free to join me. I'm going to be doing this, like I said, pretty regularly. Maybe I'll figure out how to announce that ahead of time, too. <laughs> anyway, this has been whatever I should call myself now. I don't think I'm going to go with Shinkanoyami no more. Uh, just call me Shin. Anyway, see ya. <laughs>